hello and welcome back to my channel and so we shall be looking at the fourth part of our video where we would like to optimize this water distribution network and so let's look at a few things um the there are certain standards that are adopted in various municipalities as it relates to um, you know what ap applies to some of the parameters for instance the probably the minimum velocity average operating velocity as well as the maximum velocity may vary from municipality to municipality or from country to country but for the sake of what we are working on so let's assume that we are dealing with a scenario where for optimization purposes we decided to adopt an average operating velocity of between uh, one meters per second to two meters per second and also we would adopt in the um, case of um, uh, average operating pressure for our system we may decide to adopt a value of about let's say between 200 and um 250 kilopascal to 300 kilopascal so let's note this down now let's um generate our values from here i can click on the node value so i can generate i already have results for each of these parameters and the inputs so let's look at what we have in terms of um, pressure so as we can see it's been displayed here on the top left corner so what we can see is that we are having um pressures okay let's check we have a pressure of 60 okay and let's um um let's um check and see if this value you know is acceptable so let's see sorry so um so let's say 29.21 Two one. Now the pressure is in millimeters, so let's convert it to kilopascal. So let's see, we have nine point eight one, and that should give us about two hundred and eighty six. So what that means is that the pressure falls within an acceptable value. Okay, remember we're talking about between two hundred and fifty to three hundred. Um, kilo pascal so but let's i believe there was something i sorted out earlier let's look at this let's check yes i can remember now these values because there's something we must understand there's a relationship between the head and the pressure here so the total head is 60 while this was reduced so what happens if we decide to increase this to 70 or let's say 75 now this will ultimately change the pressure at the nodes so let's run the simulation again and then so you can see that the pressures at the nodes have increased so what this means is that let's go back and say 34.21 times 9.81 times so you can see that already our value is far above what we adopted as the operating pressure so that means that we have to decrease the pressure within the system so how can we do that now this is the hint we go back here we check our reservoir because the height of the reservoir determines a lot of things so if the height of the reservoir the higher the height of the reservoir the more the uh, values of the pressure at each of the nodes this means that there will be more um, it, um there's a tendency that 
the if care is not taken the flow can you know ad, uh, be adversely affected negatively within the pipe network so let's try and reduce this to let's say um, 65 remember we are adopting a range of 250 to 300 kilopascal so let's run our simulation again and then let's look at the results so we can see that we have our 24 we have our 20 so let's look at our conversion so if we have 20 let's look at the lowest va value here so this is 20.91 and we multiply by 9.81 so what this should give us is that we should have about 205 kilopascals now remember we said we needed to have between 250 to 300 so i can decide to increase this to let's say 70 and then run our simulation again and these values will change now we have that 29 so let's look at what we have so if this is um, let's look at the minimum one this is 25 so let's say 25.91 times 9.81 and what we have is about 254 so that means that if we have a reservoir with an elevated height of um, or total head in this case because this is going to be relative we are going to discuss all that in another video so if we are going to have a height of up to 70 this should be able to accommodate the pressures relative to all the elevations at the nodes so that is sorted out now how do we handle the velocity so let's look at what the velocity shows so we can see here that we are having velocities of about 0 0.99 0 0.47 and we have a very low one here so how can we how can we reduce i mean how can we increase the velocity one way of doing that so let's look at we have 0 0.21 so one way of looking at uh, of solving that is by reducing the pipe diameter so if we have 100 and we run our simulation so by reducing the pipe diameter this value this value has increased and um, has increased but this value has decreased so let's look at what we have here so what about um we reduce it to 100 so what happens to the diameter there I mean to the velocity there so we can see it's decreasing so let's do it this way let's start from this point let's reduce and run so we can see we have about one point so um this is not clear enough let's change sorry let's um let's change the color so if this is um 1.91 we can see see these ones are reasonable but these ones are very low so if we have increased if we have reduced um this to 200 so what about this can we reduce this to 150 and let's see maybe we we'll reduce this to uh, 150 so let's see what happens maybe we we'll reduce this to uh, 150 let's um reduce this to 150 let's um reduce um okay we had earlier worked on this so what about this let's take it to 150 and then um let's let's see let's run it and see so let's see what the error report is saying that
So let's let's have a look at what we